Boy, really good contact and on a spectacular line. How good is that shot right there? You miss hit that a fraction and you're into the face of that bunker. Player who's worked on his speed the last year or so. Well, it helped him here having that speed. Look at this contact. Absolutely pured it out of there. Good speeds that all the pieces are in place for him. That gives him a good reference point for how long they think this is playing. Wow. It's not a line. I think it's got to go here. Oh, it did. It's going to be fine. We've seen a couple guys already putt from there. The pine straw. Check this out. Yeah, watch this. It was sitting up in the pine straw, but there's a ton of the pine straw. Look at how much comes out of there. He's putted well this week. Top five in strokes gained putting coming into today. Back to back birdies for Steven. That was four iron. Just right of the flag stick. This may kick right. Man, wow, that is very handy. This was Jaegers a moment ago. Hole high and two, so his third and trying to get it up and down for birdie. He's got a good chance. It is 135th PGA Tour start. Still looking for that breakthrough. And this just might be his day. And as a birdie for Jaeger. Now that it has all day, just whipping straight downwind. One of the fastest players on the course right now, Jaeger. And that's going a little bit left. Right at it. Oh, what a shot. Took it on. You know, he's got an experienced caddy. Henry Diane has been out so since I started playing. And it really feels like it's time for Steven Yeager to break through. Wind is hard left to right. Yep. And Yeager reaches 12 under par. And Steven Yeager is in rarefied air for him right now. He's fifth in putting this week, and he loves these greens. 97 yards, and again, on this angle, he has to take that big slope on. There's no avoiding it. It might be good that he's out of this little rough here, so won't have too much backspin. Taking it a little bit left of the hole location. Oh, oh and it's that's... deep, really deep, and that is going to be so challenging. Now we knew it was going to be a challenge for the leader, Steven Yeager, to get it close to the hole. So now we'll have a lengthy par save. Massive putt for Yeager. Got the pace. Oh, it looks good. Oh, looks oh, great. Oh, what a oh, save oh, for oh, Steven save. Yeager. Oh, it looks nonplussed by that, like it was no big deal. That was everything. Yeah. It's going to get. In that left rough, I'm afraid you got to hit a hard cut to get it to stay in this fairway. It's past that tree and the pine needles still rolling around across the path. And now Jaeger is forced to lay up here. Yeah, he can get a wedge over those trees, but not much more. So he was forced to do that. Okay, all he could do, and he does it. He executes it, so he'll take his chances from out there in the fairway with his upcoming third. Turning over left of the flag. So he saddles up there to Scheffler's ball in two. Jaeger's there in three. Got an important speed read from Scheffler. It's just not as fast as it looks. He's part every hole on the back nine thus far. And he'll make it another one. Seven straight pars on the second nine for Jaeger, who's just been holding on to that 12 under number. A missed opportunity not to birdie 16. What kind of kid he was back in high school. We'll get to that after this tee shot. Winding up. Boy, taking a very aggressive line, cutting at the right center of the green. Oh, he got it. <laughs> he was full of confidence with that. He wasn't worried watching that. He knew it. He had enough to get it there. And that's a beautiful place to pitch from. He plays with a ton of confidence. This is a fantastic angle. Five for six scrambling today. 
pretty good shot, but now that tester to get in the lead. Oh, boy, that, that was, was like a, a nervy putt, stroke. Wasn't it? And he's gone now eight straight holes without a birdie. Didn't birdie 16. That was the worst putt we've seen him hit all week long. Taking that long driver stance right down the middle. Beautiful tee shot, cutting it back against the wind. Oh, Nothing held back. Oh, that's a dream drive right there. Absolutely right down the middle. Contact headed left of the flagstick towards the center of the green. About as close as you can come to not going in. It just leaves the door open for Scheffler to try to force a playoff. Wow, Jaeger comes home the entire second nine with nine straight pars. His wife Shelby just couldn't wait to get out there and celebrate her husband's first win. It still could happen if Scheffler misses. And Steven Yeager has broken through. A winner on the PGA Tour. Tell you what. Great for Steven Yeager. Scotty Scheffler is going to rue that short miss day two from a foot and a half. There's their baby Harrison. You know, a similar scene what we saw with the Malnati's last week. The emotion that comes out, it was Malnati's second win, but Yeager finally gets it done at the age of 34. Smile for the camera, Harrison. Dad's a PGA Tour winner. We'll have a word with him when we come back. And back with the champion, Steven Yeager. Steven, your 135th start on the PGA Tour. You're 34 years of age. You just held off the best player in the world. What did it take for you to scale this mountain today? Yeah, you know, he's been playing some unbelievable golf. I played the Almond Palmer and, and the players obviously with him and um, it, he's such such a great dude as well so it was such a blast the last couple of days to kind of fight with him and you know it, you just know that he's gonna have some good stuff and um, I just kind of try to stay with him myself and uh, try to make some putts try to make some birdies uh, birdies kind of eluded me on the back nine there but uh, this golf course you know plays a little difficult um, especially if you're riding around the lead. There's just so much trouble, and uh, I'm super happy, obviously, with the day. Congrats on win number one. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch another video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.